alcohol it's a depressant it's not a stimulant but all over the world if you ask even medical students because once in two months the medical college uh, of Colombo sends teams of young people to Addy to get exposure to field activities and part of it we have a one hour discussion with them the first discussion so we, we, we pose a question to them uh, uh, what is alcohol and still today at least half of them say they are medical students just a similar and some of them, half of them are confused. They say it's a similar. No, no, it's sometimes big person. Sometimes it's big person, sometimes stimulant. Some say if you take small amount, it's stimulant. But if you take more, it's a big person. But this is completely against science. Right? Because the amount is not deciding whether it is a stimulant or a big person. That is not the fact of that. So therefore, including medical people, medical students that the, all over the world, there is a kind of myth that considering alcohol as a stimulant, it is because of the social learning. It is not because of the science or the medical science or any other science. So, so if you critically think about something that you can find these things. So therefore, we can strengthen our movement by using and taking these facts into our movements. Other areas like the democracy or human rights, we know what is myth and what is fact. But unfortunately, due to many historical factors, social factors, and other things, this alcohol field, these myths and facts are mixed. Even academics are confused. So they are also sometimes mixing it. So this is a huge challenge.